Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to our morning routine, just like our night routine, which I just put up. I will link up in the corner. We finally have established a morning routine that we count on every morning and it usually goes pretty smoothly and it has just added some more structure into our day and into our life. And it's been lovely. Just showing you what we do and in the order we do them, the products I've been using, the makeup I've been loving. And I did want to thank Goalie for sponsoring this video. We will get into that in a little bit, but let's go ahead and get into the morning routine. So Milo usually wakes up between seven and seven. 7 30 and I pick him up and we open the blinds together. He loves it. Oh my god, my rat's nest in the back of my hair. I just noticed that. <laughs> but he's usually all smiles and happy to see us. So I change him and then I bring him into the bed where I feed him and then we just hang out and we play. Bradley's still waking up. Um, Ludo's there. It this was filmed on St. Patrick's Day, so you'll see a lot of green in this video. So this is what he was wearing. This was from Carter's. I love their holiday onesies and just their onesies in general. Um, Ludo gets some love. Milo gets some love. We're all getting some love. Then we all make our way downstairs. Ludo goes out to the bathroom, which he usually stalls for a while. I don't know what this dog's problem is with going to the bathroom, but he holds it for as long as possible. But we're having a daffodil check. This was before my white one opened and I was so surprised I did not know they were going to be two-toned. I didn't know they were going to have a yellow center. Sadly, my yellow ones are on their way out, but I enjoyed them so much. And this is a um, Meyer lemon tree that I actually got from a friend who was moving out of state. She asked me if I wanted it and I was like, yes. And the poppies are doing great as well. So I'm just admiring my garden. Milo's been using his walker and he's actually very good at walking around in it. Um, and then I come in and I start making Milo's breakfast. So his favorite lately has been strawberries and blackberries. And then we do feed him a puree. In my latest vlog, which I can link up in the corner, I did show me prepping a bunch of baby food um, for him to feed himself and for purees that we feed him or we hand him the spoon and he eats that way. Um, but he is loving blackberries, which they're messy as heck, but he loves them. So I just chop those up um, fine enough where I feel comfortable that he's not going to choke. And I just put it all out on his um, high chair for him and he goes to town and he loves it. He loves to eat. He's definitely our son. It makes me really happy. And Ludo was always standing by for anything that will fall. And things usually do. And then we also gave him some apple puree that morning. Like I said, it was St. Patrick's Day, so I did what my mom always did for me as a kid and made green cream cheese. I had cream cheese on one side and butter on the other side of my bagel with some eggs. Milo just continued to scoop up his breakfast. And yeah, we just ate, hung out, and yeah, we do this every morning and I love it. And once Milo is done giving him food, Ludo usually goes to eat his own food. <laughs> As mentioned before, this portion of the video is very kindly sponsored by Goalie, Goalie Nutrition. They make amazing vitamin supplements. They're best known for their apple cider vinegar gummies, which I think are amazing. I have been taking them all month and I am really enjoying them. It's a really easy and tasty way to get apple cider vinegar into your system. And apple cider vinegar has a ton of great health benefits for your gut digestion, metabolism. Goalie has B9 and B12 in it to support overall good health and well-being. And the gummies are gluten-free, non-GMO, vegan, cruelty-free. They have no artificial sweeteners, no artificial flavors, and no artificial colors in them. They also have gummies for beauty. They have green gummies. They have ashwagandha gummies to help you calm down. They also have these great chocolate bites. My sister was over the other day and she's like, hey, can I have some of these? And I was like, yes. And she loved them. Bradley loves them. We've just really been enjoying the Goalie life in this household. And as I say, if it's good enough for JLo, it's good enough for me. <laughs> if you are interested in trying Goalie, you can use my link, which will be in the first line of the description box. You can just click and you will get 15% off if you use my link. And yeah, as I said, we've just been loving them and it's just an easy way to get so many good health benefits into my system. So thank you Goalie for sponsoring. Then Bradley takes the baby upstairs to clean him up and I'm going to wipe off our high chair, which I am loving our high chair. We obviously just started using it. Um, I think it's called the Stoke Click high chair. I will link it down below. It wipes clean like a dream. I mostly was interested in it because I liked the color and I liked the way it looked in our house, but the reviews were great and the way it wipes clean is worth it alone. We do need to work on cleaning the straps. I need to figure out how to get those out of there and wash them. But yeah, I clean up downstairs. I come upstairs, Milo's playing for a little bit before his first nap. He's just wiggling around there. And then we do the nap routine. So I shut the blinds, I turn on his sound machine. Um, pick him up. I feed him a little bit and then I put him down. I put him in a sleep sack, give him kisses, tell him good night. And that's the first morning nap. I can't even tell you how life-changing napping has been. He takes really good solid naps, usually puts himself to sleep, which is incredible. 
And in the meantime, Bradley goes outside to water our yard. If you saw my last vlog, which I think I already linked up in the corner, but I'll also have it linked down below. Bradley just aerated our lawn and spread some more grass seed and fertilizer. So he's working really hard on keeping the grass kind of always wet as you want to do when you plant new grass seed. Um, we're also watering our herb garden, which isn't like thriving at the moment, but it will be soon because spring has sprung. Our um, hydrangea plant is growing in nicely. Um, this was here when we moved in. It was really exciting the first year of living here. And now that we've lived here a full year to see what blooms when, it was really fun and exciting. Um, so yeah, he's just keeping the grass wet, as I said. And yeah, everything is looking springy. This is what I look like at this moment. So let's go upstairs and let's fix that. So I start with a shower, of course. I do like to shower in the morning and at night. I take quick showers for both, but I'm using my simple moisturizing facial wash with my Foreo Luna 2, Luna 3. It's one of the Lunas. I'll link it down below. I got this for Christmas. I am loving it. It's like a facial deep cleansing massaging device. Then I've been using, again, my Young Living Mint Satin Facial Scrub. This is one of my favorite scrubs. It's very minty, so it makes your face feel really clean and tingly. And then I am finally able to use this again. The scent doesn't bother me anymore. The Alba Botanica Very Emollient Midnight Tuberose Shower Gel. That I'm getting out of the shower. I'm picking out a green dress, because as I said, it's St. Patrick's Day. And yeah, then it's time to get to skincare. I have been reintroducing this into my routine, the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. My skin loves this. Everybody's skin loves this. If you haven't tried it yet, you should. This like changes your skin and it's awesome. My skin it doesn't even really like salicylic acid. It prefers benzoyl peroxide, but this stuff like really helps clear up my texture and just makes my skin look better. I wasn't using it in pregnancy, but now, you know, I'm not pregnant anymore, so it's back. I brushed my teeth and now I'm putting on some of the Avalon Organics Vitamin C Renewal Cream. I've been using this day and night. I like this stuff. It's pretty natural. It's mildly affordable. I want to say it's around $25. Um, it's more affordable than my favorite Josie Marin whipped face stuff, which I'm just trying to not buy right now, but I do miss it. But I do like this. It does take a little bit extra work to get it worked into your face, but nothing, you know, too hard to do. And then I do also follow up with some sunscreen. This is the Tula Protecting Glow. I love this stuff. It has a little bit of a sheen to it. So whether you're wearing makeup or not, you just look glowy and like you have a filter on. It's lovely, but it's also a sunscreen. It smells like pineapple. I'm all about this stuff. I was using it in pregnancy and I just keep using it because I love it. So I slap that all on my face. Then with a little bit of movie magic, we're gonna curl the hair. You guys have seen me curl my hair a thousand times, so I just left it out, but I did give it a little bit of a refresh. And usually when I do that, I like to add in my BioSilk Silk Therapy. I just use the original oil. My hair prefers oil over like a hairspray. Um, I don't know, it just helps the curl stay intact and of course helps with my frizz and of course I'm having postpartum hair loss and it's already growing back in the front there if you can tell <laughs> it's wild um, but it, this helps those lay down a little bit even though they really don't want to um, but yeah hey at least the hair's growing back so there we go hair's all done I'm slapping in my favorite earring combo at the moment, which they're both from Ana Luisa. I can link them down, both down below, but they're like these pearl huggies and then the mini organic pearls. I just, I, ooh, I knocked the microphone, sorry about that. <laughs> I just have been loving the way that those look. Then a lot of days I stop there. I don't wear makeup, but if I do have time to wear makeup or I'm filming, which this day I was filming another video. So I was like, I will put on some makeup and I just thought I would show you what I'm enjoying at the moment. So I'm still loving my Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. This I'm only wearing on this day because I was filming. If it's just like a day where I wanna wear makeup but I'm not doing anything crazy, I just use my NYX BB Cream, which they discontinued, which is just absolutely devastating. But I do use something a little bit lighter. Not that this is heavy, but you know what I mean. Um, but since I'm filming, I like to use my favorite foundation. And then I'm using the Morphe Flawless Beauty Sponge to just blend that out. I love this foundation. I believe it's literally like $4.99. It's so affordable and it is one of the best foundations I've ever used. I am still using and loving the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in the peach flavor. It's fantastic. I was out of this stuff for a while and I repurchased and I'm so glad I did. 
then I'm using some concealer because mama's tired going in with the nude sticks nude fix creamy concealer I will list what shade I am down below because I have no idea but I really really like this stuff I'm just putting it under my eyes and a little bit down my nose and then I'm actually taking even though I didn't use it for my foundation but I sometimes use it for my foundation but the rare beauty foundation brush which I also have really been enjoying I got this for Christmas as well and um, I just use that to blend it out. They do have a, a concealer brush, but I like to use that, and you'll see it in a moment, to set my under eye concealer with a powder. So just blending that out. Then if I have any spots I want to cover up, I do love the Flower Beauty Concealer. Again, very affordable from Ulta. Does flowers still sell at Ulta? I think so. I'll find it somewhere and I'll link it down below. But I did just have a couple spots on my chin and on my nose I wanted to cover up. And again, I just used my sponge to blend that out. Then I am going to set with my two favorite powders of the moment, both from Physicians Formula. This one's my very favorite, the Bitter Butter Illuminating Powder. And this is the Rare Beauty Concealer Blush. Br mm, brush, like I said. Just tap a little bit in and then I just press it underneath my eyes and kind of drag it. And I don't know if you can tell instantly how much it helps brighten underneath your eyes, but it's not like a stark white bright that I usually don't like. Something about it is just so pretty and illuminating and natural looking. I am a huge fan of this stuff. I mentioned it in my last favorites video. I am still using it every time I put on makeup and I love it. Um, oh, and before I set the rest of my face, I did remember to put on my cream contour. This is the Nude Sticks Nudies Bondi Bay Bronzing Stick. I love this thing. I'm just using, using, <laughs> I can't speak today. <laughs> I'm just using this stibble brush to get it all blended out. I love this stuff. I also love the Chanel cream contour stuff. Um, but that one is a little old and gross, so I never use it on camera because <laughs> it's embarrassing. But once I lay that in place, I am going to set my chin and forehead with um, this other Physicians Formula powder. <laughs> I don't remember which one it is. I'll link it down below. But yeah, I'm still trying out all the new Physicians Formula stuff. I just did a beauty haul. I can link that up in the corner if you want to check it out. But yeah, I'm trying everything out and loving most of it. This I've been loving for over a year. It's the Physician's Formula Matte Minoy Bronzer. This is not an ad for Physician's Formula. Please sponsor me if you'd like. But I've just been loving this bronzer and I use it with this Morphe R9 uh, something brush. Again, I'll link it down below. All my Morphe brushes though have started to molt on me. I won't lie. Um, so I don't know about that. I love them, but they shed all over my face now. And then I'm using this Luxie blending brush. It's one of my favorites for my eyes. And I'm just taking some of that bronzer up into the crease. I'm just blending it out to give a little more definition. A lot of days, like today I did my makeup, I left it like that. But on this day, since I was filming, I wanted to add a little more pizzazz. So you guys know that I am having a love affair with my old favorite MAC, all that glitters. They discontinued it, but they brought it back and I am just beyond excited. Because as you can see, it's the greatest eyeshadow ever. Look how effortlessly that goes on my eyes. It is the best just all over lid color for everyday use. It's not too like glamorous, but not... It's not subtle, but it's it's just gorgeous. It brings like the most beautiful light to your eyes. I love it. Then I am using the new Physicians Formula Butter Believe It Blush. Um, spoiler alert, this has been my favorite blush out of the three new ones that I purchased. It's a really pretty like light nude pink color for spring. And I've been wearing it almost every day. I just absolutely love it. Ludo wants his makeup done too, as always. So I do pretend to give him a little blush. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Then going in with the Charlotte Tilbury, what's this called? Film star, glow, Hollywood, something. The, the duo of the bronzer and the highlight. I've been loving the highlight. I am enjoying the bronzer. I just, I don't know why I didn't use it this day, but the highlight I'm really enjoying. So I just slap that everywhere again with one of my favorite Morphe highlighting brushes. Yeah, I like to glow. Then I'm going to curl my lashes. I've been getting so many nice comments about my lashes, which thank you. And I really think it's a combo of this eyelash curler and then a fresh tube of this L'Oreal Bambi Eye Mascara. I love this stuff. Ever since I started using this, I haven't used my CoverGirl Clump Crusher, which if you've followed me for a while, you know that's my absolute favorite. But just something about this mascara I am loving. And the combo of ever since I got the new eyelash curler, my eyelashes have just been happier. So yeah, I'm just gonna coat my eyelashes about 4,000 times. Probably got some up close shots for you, so there you go. <laughs> I think the trick is also two coats, so we'll let that dry. Oh, Ludo decided he didn't wanna be with me anymore, so he left. Um, but this is still the first coat. I'm just still working on that. Then I'm doing my brows, which I haven't gotten my brows done since before my 30th birthday party. I'm 32 now. 
32 and a half. So it's been a long time, but I've just, with Corona, I was afraid to get my eyebrows. I, I don't know why I'm not going now. You know, so I don't know. But uh, yeah, my eyebrows are kind of unruly and I pluck them every now and then, but they're just kind of bushy, which I kind of enjoy. So I don't know. But anyway, I'm using the Benefit Gimme Brow in the color three. I love this stuff. I'm curious. Have you bought this yet because of me? Because I really feel like I make it look, look, I, okay, I can't speak. I make it look incredible. Like the transformation of my brows before and after, I really think sells the product. So I'm curious if you've bought it. Uh oh, sneezing after mascara, never good. <laughs> but then I took the Benefit 24 hour brow setter and set those. Then after my mascara has a bit of a chance to dry the first coat, I recurl very carefully and then I go back in with a second coat. And I think that that really helps make them look like I'm kind of wearing false lashes. It doesn't actually, they just look very voluminous. Then I finish it off with some MAC Fix Plus in the rose scent. And that is it. That's, you know, this is kind of like the more heavy duty makeup I do if I'm filming, but I still don't think it looks that heavy. It's perfect for every day. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this glimpse into our morning routine as always. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will have everything I mentioned linked down below in case I passed something super quickly and you're like, wait, what was that? Thank you to Goalie for sponsoring this video. I will have my link down below if you wanna try them out and save 15%. And yeah, I love you guys so much. I will see you very soon back here with a new video and I will talk to you later. Bye.